All right, it's that time again. We have reached the end, um, but it's time for our fun Friday activity. I am super excited that you are of like mind and 71% of you have voted for all the dry ice science experiments that I've been able to find. Super excited to explore that together, so that's exactly what we'll do. We're gonna take, uh, take a step here and do some dry ice science experiments. Let me get our... Um, camera ready. We're going to have two cameras for this so we can make sure that we do it right. All right. I'm going to turn that on. There we go. All right. So for those of you that don't know, uh, dry ice is incredibly cold, like super cold, like negative 100 degrees Celsius cold. Um, it's in, uh, it's, it should be handled safely and carefully. So if you ever do get some, and you can get some at the store, um, they sell it at uh, uh, the grocery store usually in a giant uh, freezer uh, at the front of the store with a lock on it and you have to ask someone to take it out for you. Um, it's a fun uh, activity that can be done at home but should always be handled with gloves. Never touch with your bare skin um, or use tongs. And then always remember safety first. So I'm going to be wearing my very own scientific safety goggles on loan from Dr. Sheridan's lab. How do I look? How do I look? All right. I'm safe. I'm ready. Uh, I've got <clears throat> our first experiment lined up and ready. We're going to be using an ordinary cup and some water. So if you ever want to come back and do this again, you can. Uh, so I've got my, it's just a small glass filled with some water about halfway. Um, and then what we're going to do is um, we're going to add some food coloring because, you know, we want it to look cool, right? Um, I'm going to add some food coloring here. Of course, it's William Lee Blue. I couldn't find burgundy at the store. I'm going to try harder for next time. I apologize. We're going to swirl that up a little bit. Let's get that mixed up. Get that going. Yeah, there we go. All right, we've got our blue liquid in there. All right, so I'm going to put a nice Tupperware container underneath just because I anticipate there may be some reactions with this when we add the dry ice. But I want to know what you think. In the chat, tell me what's going on. What do you think is going to happen? Um, you know, put a message in. What's your prediction? When I add the dry ice, what do you think is going to happen? But I'm not done yet. Uh, um, we also got to add some soap because you know we're just going to make it really fun. We're gonna we're gonna just we're gonna add a little dash. This is just regular dish soap. Uh, I'm just gonna give it a little bit. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I may be overdoing it, but that's okay. All right, so we're gonna add that. We're gonna add that soap. Um, we've got our soap in there. We've got our food coloring and water. I'm going to move this up so you can see it better. There we go. All right. I'm going to take a piece of dry ice. Here we go. No, I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm going to make it two pieces of dry ice. We're going to go, we're going to go big. And I know my head keeps getting cut off as I do that, but no worries. <laughs> All right. So dry ice looks like this. Uh, you'll notice I'm holding it with tongs. I want you to tell me in the chat what you see happening. What do you see coming off of the dry ice as I hold it up to the camera? What can you see? What do you notice? Oh, Venetia, Miss Venetia says, Brianne thinks it'll color the ice and foam. Ooh, good predictions ahead. I love it. I love it. Let me know what you're thinking in the chat. What do you think's going to happen? All right, I'm going to drop the dry ice in on three. Count with me. Three, two, one. Ooh, boy, here we go. Oh, there it goes. I think we were right, Brianne. I'm going to hold it up to the camera up here, too, so you can see. Oh, goodness. It is certainly foaming. The bubbles are changing color as well. You'll notice they're taking on a little bit of a blue hue. It's creating like a giant bubble chain, like a, like a bubble volcano. And what's happening is as the dry ice melts, it's releasing gas. And that gas is bubbling up through the water, getting trapped in the soapy bubbles and, and creating bubbles as it goes. So because dry ice is so cold, as we put it in the warmer water, it's melting and giving off a gas. It's going straight from a solid to a gas, and it's giving off that gas over and over again. Yes, I love it. The message from Lauren, yes, it's, it's making it foam for sure. 
So we're going we're gonna to keep that going. I'll leave that on screen so you can watch that. But we're going to do another experiment also. So for this one, <clears throat> uh, for this one, we're going to we're going to use another container. So just a regular cup, but this cup has a lid. That's important. And it's important that the lid has an opening. Never put dry ice in a container uh, with, without an opening. But so we're going to, we're going to fill this with some hot water um, after we've already added some dry ice. And I'm going to, I'm going to go big this time. I'm not using a few pieces. I'm going to scoop a whole bunch of dry ice for this one. So, so tell me how many scoops should I use? One, two, three scoops. How many scoops should I use? Put a message in the chat. How many scoops should I use? Let's see. <laughs> Funny story, Dr. Morehouse. The movie The Bob, The Blob, was actually filmed in my uh, right outside my hometown, Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. So, fun, fun uh, history fact for you there. <laughs> Ooh, and you may hear as I scoop the dry ice, uh, as it touches the metal, it makes a little bit of a screeching sound. That's normal. That's okay. We're gonna start with one scoop. I see, I see votes for three. Oh my goodness. Three scoops? All right, why not? Let's go, that's one. Chloe and Kitsia, Brianne and Renee think we should do three. The Scots think we should do five. Oh goodness, going big. Well, you know what, why not? One, two. We got two, that's three. Four. One more for good luck. <laughs> I love it. Five. All right, we got our dry ice in there. I'm going to put my tool down. All right, so now for this to work, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to add some hot water and then quickly put the cap on and see what happens. So what do you think is going to happen as I get that ready? Make your prediction. What's going to happen as we put the cap on after adding a, a glass of hot water this time? All right, I got my hot water. Be careful when handling hot water. So I've got my mug here to keep it safe and ready. All right, so <clears throat> on the count of three, we're gonna add the hot water and we're gonna see what happens. All right, ready? On three, one, I got my lid ready. One, two, three. Oh goodness, boy did that make a mess. <laughs> As you can see, we've got a bit of a steam volcano this time. The opening in the container. <laughs> It's filling the room with the gas. It's filling the entire room. Goodness gracious, that is fantastic. As the water cools down and as the dry ice melts, we'll get less of that steam. But because there's a small opening in the container, it creates a jet of steam unlike anything. That is fantastic. Let's, let's hold this up to the main camera. Ooh, boy. Just going hard. You can see the reaction of the dry ice in the container. All those bubbles being released from the dry ice at the bottom. Too much fun. Oh goodness. And you'll notice it's starting to slow down as the water cools, as, as, it, as it reaches the same temperature as the dry ice, the reaction is not as strong. By adding that hot water to the really cold dry ice, you create a really strong reaction. Love the love the messages we're seeing in the chat. Thank you for the claps. Love it, love it, love it. Too much fun. All right, so that was that was our second experiment. Okay, so let's do this one. I'm gonna move this to the side. Our other volcano seems to have slowly stopped. That dry ice is finally melting. We're gonna slide that out of the way actually, so I don't make a mess. I'm gonna slide that over here. All right, so for this next one. Uh, Dr. Sheridan brought home a syringe. Um, 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 it's not a needle, so I just want to make sure we're clear. So these are used as like a dropper, and so it's got a plunger, and then it's got the main chamber. What we're going to do is we're going to put some dry ice in here, and then we're going to stop it up with the plunger. Um, remember how I said don't, uh, don't put dry ice and water in a container without an opening? Yeah, we're going to do that now. Now, so the, for this one, I recommend always do this one with adult supervision. Because um, it can go, it can go a little crazy. So uh, make your predictions on how crazy you think it's going to go. What we're going to do is we're going to add uh, a piece of dry ice. So let's do that now. I'm going to grab a piece of dry ice. So we got our dry ice. Here it is. We're going to load it into the container. Ooh, it's a tight fit. That's all right. Get in there. 
You may hear the bubbling. I can I can hear it. I don't know if you can hear. I'm gonna hold it up. You can hear the bubbles really going wild in there still. No more steam, but it's still bubbling like crazy. You can hear it. I like the warning message, uh, Miss Venetia. Thank you for that. Yes, don't try this at home. All right, so I'm gonna put the stopper on. Push it down all the way to the dry ice. All right, I'm gonna turn it upside down, and we're gonna add some water. Okay. And then after we add the water, I'm going to plug up the hole, and we want to see what happens. All right, so I've got my water, my pipette ready. Got some steam. Stopping the steam. All right, I can feel some pressure building. I feel some pressure building. Oh, it's exciting. Woo! Yep. It exploded. It exploded. That might be one you want to do outside. Oh yeah, that's going to be... That, that's a little bit of a mess on the ceiling. But that's what science is about. It's fun. Alright, so... We made a little rocket. It definitely popped. I see the guesses in the chat. Absolutely, absolutely. Great job. I'm going to put this one away because it's starting to scare me. <laughs> and we're going to go to our next experiment. Um, and so for this one, all you need is like a small... A uh, small bowl. Um, you're gonna need some uh, bubble soap. Um, let me see here. I got my small bowl. All right, I'm gonna put that here for you guys to see. Okay, so we got our small bowl. We've got. Uh, you want a paper towel for this? Paper towel. Uh, you also want some bubbles. I don't mean dish soap. I mean like actual bubbles. Some bubbly soap. Um, and so what we're gonna do for this is we're gonna soak the paper towel in the bubbles. And then um, what we're going to do is we're going to add uh, dry ice to the bowl of water. And then we're going to rub the soapy towel over the bowl. And we're going to see what happens. Now I want you to make some predictions. I'm not going to just tell you what happens. I want you to see if you can predict what's going to happen. Think about what you've seen happen with our other experiments. It's been building up to this. All right. So tell me in the chat what you think is going to happen um, while you're sending me your suggestions. I'm going to get it ready. So let me get things going here. Let me get this cleaned up and get this one ready. I'm going to move my keyboard out of the way. All right, so I'm going to take my bubbles. Uh, make sure not to do this on a carpet. Make sure to do this in the kitchen or outside, somewhere safe. Okay, always with adult supervision. So scholars, don't just do this on your own and tell your parents after. That's not a fun surprise. Oh, goodness. Yep, making a mess with the bubble soap this morning. That's all right. All right, the more the better. All right, and so we got that going. All right, I'm going to make sure that's really good and soaked. I'm going to let that keep soaking. Uh, I'm going to add my dry ice to the water bowl. I love it. I love it. See the messages coming in. All right, let's grab a few pieces here. So I'm going to put those in the water. Oh, it's going already. I'm going to just do two pieces to start. We don't want to do too much. All right, so it's bubbling. It's turning into a gas, melting away. Ooh, Miss Barnes thinks bubbles are going to blow up in the air. Chabernet and Mary Kay making a good guess there. Yeah, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. All right, we think it's going to bubble up. It might freeze. I'm seeing some really good suggestions here. All right, so you take the paper towel. It's soaking wet in bubble juice. We're going to rub it over the top, and we're going to give it a good rub like this. Get it really nice and soapy, and then slide it over. All right, so nothing happened that time. We're going to keep trying, though. That's all right. If at first you don't succeed, try and try again. All right, now watch what happens. Let's see. We got it. We got a success. It looks like. Oh, here it goes. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. I'm gonna hold it up to the main camera so you can see. It's a bubbling, but instead of a lot of little bubbles, it's making one giant bubble. Woo! And then it popped. Fantastic. Fantastic. Let's try that one again. Let's try that one again. I'm gonna add some more dry ice. You guys were right. It, it did make a bubble. It did make a bubble. 
I love it. I love it. All right. Here we go. Got it. Because we're rubbing the bubble solution over the entire top of the bowl, it's creating one big bubble. If we just poured the soap in there, it would make a lot of little bubbles like we did in the beginning. And so now it's really going strong and making one big bubble. But what happens is as the dry ice melts and it runs out of steam, not steam, runs out of gas, it can't sustain the bubble and it pops. And the gas is released out onto the table like you just saw. Awesome sauce. I love it. Thank you guys for joining me today. Um, I really appreciate you guys every morning joining us for morning meeting, keeping things going strong. Um, we are going to finish this school year stronger than ever. We're going to come through this together. Uh, can't wait to see you all again. Thank you again, and I'll see you on Tuesday. Remember, no school Monday, but I'll see you on Tuesday.